So when it comes to personal branding, nothing screams authority more than having your own personal website. So in this video, I'm going to share with you my top three best Nigerian web hosting companies and all you might need to know about them or what to expect from them. Coming at you right now. Hey guys, Sanuda Dawa. That actually means welcome back in my language. And to all the new people in the house, hola. My name is Harris Kari and on this channel, we talk about anything online marketing and also personal branding in Nigeria. So if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and smash the red subscribe button right there so you can join the family. So I know most of you will be surprised seeing me wearing a lens today. You'll be like, do you really wear lenses? Well, the thing is, I actually wear lenses, but I don't wear them when I'm recording videos because of the reflections. But you know, when you work with a lot of lights almost all the time, you would need to find something that would help you regulate the whole lights. And also not just this lens, but I also wear lenses like this, this, and this. So back to the first one. I think I'll do something about the lights. I think it's better now. So one way or another, you must have heard of the popular web hosting companies like Bluehost, Hostinger, Hostgator, GoDaddy, and all the other ones out there. So in this video, I just wanna shed more lights on our very own Nigerian web hosting companies. And as I always hear from other people, I am very pro Nigeria. Yeah, I love promoting our Nigerian products that I personally trust. Because the way I see it is, if we don't promote our own products, who else will? So before I go ahead and list them down, I just want to mention three reasons why I prefer using a Nigerian web hosting company to an international one. Number one, the monthly subscriptions. Most of the times, pricing tends to influence sales, but not all the time. Well, I won't say all of them, but most of those international web hosting companies barely have a monthly subscription. Most of them only have an annual web hosting subscription. And even if they have a monthly subscription due to the foreign currency and stuff like that, most of the times you might find it not affordable for you. But when it comes to the Nigerian web hosting companies, I think almost all of them have a monthly subscription and you would find them pretty affordable. The second one, which is the most common problem that I personally have is the currency fluctuation. I don't think I need to remind you that our Naira currency is not that type of currency that you often see going up most of the time is the other way around. So when there's inflation or currency fluctuations, which often happens a lot, you would tend to be paying more than you paid the last month. And that kind of keeps happening month after month. And number three is the customer service. There's this proximity relationship that we have with a lot of people that not everyone trusts us Nigerians. For example, when you reach out to some of those international customer service, the moment they ask, may I ask where you're calling from? And you say Nigeria. For those of you with that kind of experience, you know the entire tone of that conversation changes. But at least when you call a Nigerian customer service, they know we're in this together. So now I'm gonna go ahead and list my top three best Nigerian web hosting companies. Ah, speaking of web hosting, have you yet checked my website? Well, if you haven't, you can go ahead and check it right after watching this video at harrismk.com and let me know what you think about the website. So now, back to the video. Number three is SmartWeb. Well, SmartWeb has kind of been in the business for a very long time. They initiated the company in 2004 and since then they have sold over 70,000 domains and hosted over 100,000 websites. SmartWeb has very cheap packages all the way from 450 Naira monthly all the way up to no matter how much you want to buy. SmartWeb sells anything from domain name, custom emails and any other thing that any web hosting company sells. If you want to check out their website and see for yourself what they have to offer, the link would be in the description. And number two is Q servers. Well, Q service offers almost everything as smart web and it also offers SSL certificate and also migration of websites to and from another web host. They also have cheap and affordable subscription packages. If you want to check their website, I'll have the link in my description too. Well, these first two that I listed, I have had a direct relationship with them, but it wasn't for long because it was actually a client's work that I did. I created websites for clients and after I was done, I sent everything back to them. So I can go ahead and say from the experience that I had with them, I can suggest them to you. And lastly, number one, which is currently my best Nigerian web hosting company, Hugo Host. Hugo Host was founded in 2007 and it started as a domain name reseller 
meaning they buy the domains from all those international web hosting companies and sell them to our people locally in our own Nigerian currency up until 2011 when they upgraded the company. Now Hugohost is a registered .ng web hosting company in Nigeria and at the same time a Google G Suite registered company. The reason why Hugohost is currently my best web hosting company in Nigeria is because I have two websites currently running right now both being hosted by Hugohost and both domains bought from Hugohost and they also offer almost the same thing as those two websites that I listed. But one thing that I can say that stands out about Hugo Host and the reason why I really love them is their customer service. It's been a while since I started using Hugo Host and the longest time that I had a problem not solved was 48 hours. And within that 48 hours, my problem was solved. It wasn't even up to 48 hours. And even at that, it was because the problem was kind of big. So that's why it took up to 48 hours. But any other issue that I had has always been solved within 24 hours. And guys, this video is not sponsored by anyone. I'm just sharing the love that I have for these companies, okay? If you're interested in checking out their website, the link will be in the description. I apologize, but just in case someone is watching this video and has no idea what a domain name means. A domain name is anything that comes between a www and a .com a .ng, a .net, a .whatever comes after. And one more thing to always have in mind. Your domain name is bought separately from your web hosting, meaning your domain name is automatically bought for a year. But your web hosting depends on how much you can spend on it. So guys, I hope this video is helpful and I hope it helps you when it comes to buying a domain name or maybe hosting your website. And also let me know in the comment section if there's anything you want me to talk more about relating to website, web hosting, domain name and any other thing like that. So guys, if you enjoyed this video and found it to be very helpful, go ahead and smash the like button right there and also go ahead and click on the red subscribe button right there if you want to join the family and join the conversation. And also if there's anyone you know who needs to be watching these kind of videos, go ahead and share with them and also ask them to subscribe to this channel too so they would have these kind of videos in their timeline weekly from me and guys go ahead and check all the other awesome videos on this channel and I hope you find something that helps you in what you're trying to do and lastly guys go ahead and create but don't hate see you in the next one peace and to all the new people in the house hola my name is Harris Kairi and on this channel we talk about anything online branding and also personal brand no, I said on, I said online branding. Fuck online marketing. And this. So back to the first one.